Hello guys, thank you very much for joining in Yamazan. My name is Osia Bonga. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Max Elite Marathon Race shoe. So yeah, this is a new shoe that Max Elite introduced I think earlier this year. The first time I saw this, it was an, I did, it was a Comrades rather, sorry, Comrades Marathon um, Expo that was held um, in the Devon ICC. That was the first time I saw this. Um, the price on it, it was 800 rands. So it's a very cheap shoe. You can't compare it with your Adidas Pro Max or Nike Vaporfly. No, this is just a basic simple shoe and there is no carbon fiber plate here. I can guarantee you that this is just um, foam and fabric. That's it, foam and fabric. And then, yeah, of course your shoelaces. So it's a very cheap shoe. It's a basic running shoe. It's for marathon running. At least that's what I'm gonna wear it for. Um, I don't see myself doing 10Ks here yeah, or five kilometers. Unless maybe I'm just going there to jog and have fun. I will not be like aiming to run fast time or anything like that. No, this is not a shoe that I would recommend you to wear if you're gonna be going for your PB on five kilometers or 10K. Unless then, of course, um, you're a very, 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 very social runner. You know, very, very social. Because I'm a social runner myself, but being a social runner, there are levels. There are levels. There are those basic social runners who are just there to have fun, walk, you know, maybe on some day they would think, okay, let me just try and push myself today and get some good time. And then there are those who are constantly pushing for quality time, uh, trying to make sure that, you know, they improve on all the races that they go to, or at least, you know, have a good feeling, enjoy, and test your fitness level. So I'm that type of a runner. Um, social runner, must put that statement as well, social runner who just tries to push to be at the best on every race. So yeah, but with the marathon though, it's a different story. Um, I would recommend that you use this on a marathon. Um, and I think also Max Elite, they made specifically for marathon on this show. Yeah, um, looking at the sole, I think that's one thing that most runners look at when they buy a shoe it's the sole of the shoe um this part right here um it's not a thick thick sole um or it doesn't have a thick foam this is just about 1.5 centimeters or about four inches normally on a shoe on a basic training shoe you would get about maybe one point um or one centimeter or 1.2 centimeters on a normal training shoe not a marathon shoe or anything but just a normal shoe so this is okay um, this is okay the foam is quite bouncy it's very um, it's not hard I can put it like that let me put it like this not hard it is quite bouncy and also it allows just to simply give you that boost when you hitting the ground and you just want to propel it just gives you that boost um yeah it's called x light foam so that's what's written here it's an x light foam and with the weight it's not heavy it's not heavy i haven't scaled it or anything just to check exactly the number um on the weight of this but i can estimate with the weight that i'm feeling now I would say just most probably just about 250 grams uh, yeah but yeah I might be close or might be far but I would say just about 250 grams in terms of weight when it comes to the shoe here and now the top part on the shoe this is a very breathable um, fabric it's a polyester fabric and um, yeah there are no sponges inside here um, I can almost see my finger as I'm putting it inside the shoe I can almost see my finger but there's just another fabric beneath it that is just blocking for me to completely see my finger so that's how open it is 
um, on this part right here and also coming on to your toes as well. So it's a breathable shoe and I guess that's what makes it to be a bit lighter as well because most of the time the heavy shoes that you would find um, or trainer shoes you would find that they're full of sponges here and that would just simply add some extra weight on the shoe so that's that's been removed and um, what I like about this fabric as well is that it, it dries out fast um, sometimes when you're running a marathon um, you know you just pour water on yourself well actually all the time that's what most runners do uh, marathons ultra marathons you pour water on yourself because you're trying to cool down your muscles and now your shoe will become wet now if there's a sponge on your shoe that sponge will absorb the water and it will be heavy the shoe will be heavy so with this one here i would say it dries out quickly so if you pour water on it it will just dry easily and um, yeah going inside with the inner sole i'm just gonna take this one out here so yeah the inner sole is also spongy as well that's what i like about it so it's not hard on your feet um just prepares you for for a long run um yeah i think it will give you that bouncy feeling when you're doing your long run and also the fabric one important part here is that the fabric that they've used when i was wearing the socks that i was wearing it, they kind of connected with the socks you know the fabric connected with the socks that i was wearing i was not feeling any sort of foot moving forward uh, or my toenails or my nails touching this uh, part right here or the front of the shoe so yeah i think this will last um i hope it will last because it seems like it's quality because another thing as the shoe gets old and or you, or you use it more often this fabric runs out and your and your foot will start slipping going on forward um if you're doing down runs the foot just goes up and it really hurts the toenails it really hurts the toenails so you want a shoe that will just simply balance your foot and hold it together so as you're running there's no movement of back and forth back and forth um, on your feet so it just stays in one position so yeah i can also say that this is a good insole and uh, in terms of the shoelaces yeah these are the normal shoelaces that you would find in any uh, running shoe i've seen this quite often um, yeah there's nothing much to say about them they're not different but one problem that i have with max delete is their shoe sizes now i'm a size 10 um i'm a size 10 so when i go there to get a size 10 i never find a size 10 that fits my foot well even a size 11 even a size 11 is not what i'm looking for so i did take a risk on this because this is a size 11 and um this was like the highest number or the highest shoe size i could get and i know that max delete if they have maybe a, a size 10 or a size 11 they'll have very little stock on it uh, most probably you would get size 7 8 9 but when it comes to these higher sizes the stock is very limited and uh, you'd have to go around all the stores um, on max delete trying to find size 11 i've never seen a size 12 since i've started running with max delete i've never seen a size 12 so it's only been size 11 so this one is a size 11 here mm, um, I'm, ho I'm hoping that it's gonna treat me well um, because i like to run on a bigger size um, just to allow my foot to have that breathing space but i'm confident that as i use this shoe as well it's gonna open up you know it's gonna start open up adapting on the shape of my feet yeah and okay one part i just need to touch on is this uh, the studs here uh, beneath the shoe uh, i could say that this is good quality um, it will give you uh, a proper balance when you're running if you especially if maybe it's a slippery road or something like that or sometimes we run on pavements uh, yeah especially those of us who train in the city we mostly use pavements to train i once had an incident where the shoe did not have like studs um, it was an old shoe and i was trying to turn a corner i thought i had balanced and then i fell so 
it is very important to always monitor the studs on your shoe just to make sure that they're proper um, they're still in good condition so that you can get that good grip when you're running especially when you're making those turns um, if you're not slowing down of course, of course. so yeah man um, and also with the color this is the only color i could get um, i understand that there are two colors there's about a bluish color or navy blue color that they have and this one is the orange it's quite bright for me i really don't like a bright shoe i mean people will see running you for far away they would like oh there's see yeah, there with his bright orange shoe so for me i'm thinking of customizing this i've been seeing a lot of people customizing sneakers on youtube so this one here definitely i'm gonna customize it because i don't like the orange color it's too bright it's just gonna you know pull eyes on me and people will think that oh hey this guy here is probably gonna run a very fast time and they're looking at their shoes and they're thinking that oh this is just gonna be a flash of orange now i'm just gonna change the color i'm just gonna change the color so yeah man um overall i can say that you can try this shoe it's very affordable um, if you're not happy with it, you can still wear it as just um, a shoe for you to walk around, uh, you know, don't have to stress. I can't say it's going to be a waste of money, even though every rent counts these days. Um, the rent is not doing well. Um, every rent counts, but I would recommend that you try this. On my side, I got lucky because I got it for $3.99. The normal price of this shoe is uh, 700 rands. To 800 rands that's the normal price of the shoe so i got this for 399 okay lastly guys i registered for a comrades marathon um i'm currently doing a training for it and i'm hoping that i'm gonna be uploading videos on my training on comrades marathon and how it's going um the comrades will be in june i think the 11th of june not really sure with the dates so if these shoes here treat me well during my training I will use the exact same shoe on my Comrades Marathon. Um, I'll be doing Comrades the very, for the very first time. I've never done a Comrades before. I've done a route test once and that was about 60 kilometers. And I did quite well for myself. Um, I ran about four hours, 20 minutes on 60 kilometers. It was not a race, it was just a route test. So I'm hoping that I will do good on Comrades Marathon. I'm trying to get myself fit i did take a break of about a month and yeah so now i'm just working on my mileage because i know comrades it's mostly about mileage from what i've seen from other runners it's mostly about mileage having strong legs um stamina i think that's it because comrades is about 90 kilometers 87 to 90 kilometers and 2023 will be a down run i'm not so good at down runs Mm, I think my, myself I'm more good at hills, going up the hills, I think that's where my strong point is. Coming down run, I think my legs, because I'm a bit tall, so they don't really allow me to run properly, you know, when it's downhill. But we'll see on how it goes. Um, yeah, man. So yeah, that's my, um, that's my view on these shoes. So if you've bought these shoes and you've worn them, maybe you've done a race with them please just share your thoughts in the comment sections uh, let us know how you've been uh, or how they've been treating you as well yeah and um, do not forget to subscribe um, hit the like button there and also the notification bell so that you can get more videos um, you know coming to you as soon as I upload you'll get the video it will be just a bell ringing on your phone yeah, thank you guys. Thank you very much for taking your time and watching the video. See you next time.